Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today, as part of my Wish Worth It series, I'll be looking at these, the Samsung Galaxy Buds. I purchased these Samsung Galaxy Buds from Wish. I'm not going to go too in depth about my thoughts on Wish products as I did that on my fake AirPods video, which you can see a link for up here. The Buds are described as a one-to-one -one ratio refurbished Samsung Galaxy Buds, which makes me think, if there is something wrong with them in the first place, what was it? At first glance, the box looks genuine. By comparing it to the real Galaxy Buds box, it seems there are a few differences from which I can see. Firstly, the tab at the top which says Galaxy Buds should say Samsung. In fact, the word Samsung is completely missing from this box and all of its contents. The only mention of a brand is on the back of the case. It says Sound by AKG. So this leads me to closer confirming that these are not, in fact, refurbished Samsung Galaxy Buds at all, but some very passable clones. Another place where I found a little bit of a difference is where it says Buds on the front of the box or there, on genuine boxes there is this multicolour shimmer that you get when the box is moved, while these have just that silver shimmer, as you can see. So opening the box, you get the Buds case, which lacks the Samsung name on the top, but we'll get to opening the case in a moment. So in the Buds accessory box, once again, no mention of Samsung anywhere, but you do get a very short USB-A to USB-C charging cable for the case. Um, you do get the quick start guide, which is not written in English at all. So you can see back, back in front, nothing in English. If anyone can tell me what language that is, just let me know in the comments. And you do get the differently sized ear tips and wing tips so that you can find comfort no matter what size ears you have. Just let me know in the comments if you bought buds like these and you have not found any of the sizes a perfect fit for you. Moving on to the case. It feels quite flimsy and the opening and closing of the box and the hinge doesn't say premium product but more like cheap knockoff and you don't get that satisfying closing sound that you get with a genuine product. One good thing though is it does have a USB slot. So when you open the case you'll get that connection light. In fact, the only other light that you'll find on the case is this one at the front here, which illuminates when you've plugged it in to charge. And also another thing when it case is opened, there's no familiar animation that pops up to show the successful connection with a Samsung phone, which is a bit disappointing as you've found some clones such as the AirPods clones that I've reviewed previously, they can force an animation to pop up on iPhones. And on a notable point, the case doesn't seem to charge the buds unless it's plugged into the mains, which means that after the six hours of playtime, as the manufacturer states on the box, you'll have to return them to the plugged in charger case to recharge. As you would expect, when the buds go back into the case, they immediately turn themselves off. This only works when the buds are connected to Samsung phones, notably the S6 and S20 that this was tested on, but not on iPhones. This means during moments where you don't want to use them and you put them back into the case for safekeeping, they're still going to be discharging and connected to your iPhone. My advice here is don't buy these if you have an iPhone. But after a while, they do switch to a hibernating mode, but that's only after you've manually selected to disconnect the Bluetooth connection. But on a good note, after reopening the case on both Samsungs and iPhones, reconnection to your phone is usually instant. On the buds themselves, they do have touch pads which can operate your multimedia apps and control your phone's preferred assistance with all the regular actions and touch controls. They feel fine on inspection and are comfortable to wear. There doesn't seem to be any more noise cancelling other than the standard cancelling that comes with in-ear earbuds. But just like the fake AirPods that I tested, the musical and spoken audio is slightly muffled but I'd say that these buds are definitely a bit better than the AirPods. On the Google Play Store, you can download the Galaxy Wearables app, which discovers the buds, and that's it. You can't get any further with the app. It's like you can't get through the final gate required to allow complete customization. 
something real buds would have no problem doing because of this, you're unable to change your listening experience. The frustrating thing is that because there is no visual representation of the buds other than their connection status when you're using an Android or an iPhone, there is no way of knowing what their current battery status is. So essentially, what you get out of the box is what you're stuck with. Overall, I find these buds disappointing and they're certainly not the real thing, let alone refurbished. There is less than basic integration with whichever operating system they're connected to. The sound quality is average and the poor battery management reduces its attractiveness at being a portable device that you can take out of the house and have the confidence that you're getting the same experience every time and not buds that the battery has died. Although the sound quality of the buds are slightly better, I'd still prefer to get the AirPod clone because of the better portability that you get with them. The charging case charges the AirPods without being plugged into the mains and there is an indication of the battery status giving me that confidence when I'm out. They are not the worst earphones in the world and will be fine for you as long as you're not expecting quality audio but as with all Wish products in general you get what you pay for. If you're wanting better quality, better functionality and better integration then the genuine Samsung Galaxy Buds or Buds Plus could be for you especially if you're into that Samsung brand ecosystem. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and don't forget to press that subscribe button and also while you're at it press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. If you like that last video, why not watch another video, like one of these two here, and even subscribe to the channel down there as well. See you later. Bye.